This looks horrifying. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am becoming my true self. This was a popular video several years ago, basically turning yourself into your own punk edit. I love this video idea. I think it should come back, especially around Halloween. I couldn't even paint my nails black until I was in high school, and even then I had to be really secretive. I grew up in a very conservative home. I always really loved my nails black. I love wearing black. I loved wearing really heavy eye makeup and I have gotten extremely into tattoos just in the past couple of years. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit crazy and I'm going to give myself a full makeover. So, but first, I open myself a monster. Get myself in the mood. Halloween is so much fun. And I just feel like talking about Halloween and my upbringing and all that fun stuff while I do this. So I've got a ton of temporary tattoos. I've got a tattoo sleeve. It looks pretty cool. Like when this is covered up, like this is gonna be kind of amazing. I have not done temporary tattoos in a long time. Like last time I did a temporary tattoo was like that tongue tattoo on the like fruit roll ups. The background that I have, actually a tablecloth that I got at Party City. I don't remember. I wasn't allowed to paint my nails black when I was young because it was satanic. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I have a tattoo on my hand of a bird or something. I don't know what it is. As I got older, I wanted to experiment more and more with these things. I definitely want like a neck tattoo. Where do I want it? Right here. I dyed my hair red, which was the best decision of my life. And then came the fascination with tattoos. Now I was terrified of tattoos for the longest time. I have passed out getting my ears pierced. And then I didn't. I almost passed out. I didn't pass out though. <laughs> I have a chandelier on my arm. I grew up in a very conservative home and I wanted to make sure my parents were okay with me getting Tattoos not necessarily okay with it. I was old enough to where like it didn't matter If they didn't weren't okay with it. I was like 20 <laughs> But I wanted to make sure that they knew about it and they knew that it wasn't just some random Tattoo it was something that I really cared about a couple of days later I ran into my brother and I'm like, yeah, I got my first tattoo and Told mom and dad about it. They're cool and I thought I was the coolest and I thought that I was the first of my siblings to get a tattoo he had a tattoo for years. Years. And he hit it. Thanks for stealing my thunder. I thought that was cool. Oh, yes, queen. So we all have tattoos now and it's all just like, whatever. And my sister-in-law had her nose pierced for a while and I remember being like, I've always been jealous because I'm like, I want a nose ring. I do. I actually do want to pierce my nose. I am starting to get super into like spooky stuff. I'm like interested in like seeing spooky movies now and have been watching so many videos on YouTube from like overnight in a haunted mansion, overnight in a haunted cemetery. There's a lot of like exploring videos that can get kind of creepy and spooky and I'll link those channels in the bottom box if you're wanting to kind of know exactly what I'm watching. I'm sitting there watching these and I'm like, I'm terrified. Why am I watching this? Oh look, there's a playlist. Let's watch them all. I want to go to a haunted, like it's not a haunted house. It's a haunted like maze walkthrough thing. And every year I'm like, no, I'm never gonna go to that. That crap is terrifying. And this year I'm like, I wanna go. <sighs> but seriously you guys, have you ever been like a person who's like, I'm never gonna be into haunted stuff, to scary stuff. And now I want to go to a haunted house and be scared or is it just me here's another weird thing about this whole fascination with spooky stuff i want to watch a spooky movie i want to go to a haunted house i'm down to like try some spooky crap watch spooky videos but when i went into spirit of halloween i was so just creeped out if i walk past something that's motion censored and it like turns and like Hold on. 
I will pee my pants. Look at how cute that is. It's too late for me to be this hyper. Man, this room's a mess. Oh, girl. That's kind of awesome. I want a tattoo that goes all the way around like that. I think that's really cool. What are you going as for Halloween? What is your costume? I wanna know. Working around my actual tattoos is the best part. <laughs> like these are real, these are fake. Can you tell the difference? Yes, yes you can. I'm like really tempted to do a face tattoo. Like right here or something. That's sick. Tatted, I have a face tattoo. It says Amor. And I also don't know if the last two things I have to do are fake piercings and my hair. Holy crap, that hurts so bad. I have to like break one of the sides so that it doesn't kill me because that hurt really bad. But it looks kind of badass. Yeah, that's super uncomfortable. No. For hair, I am using the Colorist spray from, these are just, I'm using Colorist One Day Color in pastel pink. Always wanted pink hair, I had red hair, I'm ready for pink. So, I'm going to go into the bathroom, give myself some pink hair. Yo, hold on. from L'Oreal, holy crap. If you want to test out a hair color, go buy them. I'm gonna go buy like all different colors and I have blonde hair, so this shows up really nice. If you have brown hair, it might be a little bit more muted, but this is amazing. This is my turning myself into a punk edit. All my tats. This was such a fun video and so easy to do. It took me way longer intended thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this please let me know give me a thumbs up subscribe do all those things <laughs> but yeah and i will talk to you guys in the next video until then English. okay quick note i can't get the tattoos off <laughs> the color east if you breathe in at any point while spraying, your nostrils will turn pink. If you're not standing on a rug or a towel, the bottom of your feet will turn pink. <sighs> Learn from my mistakes, kids.